All right, so what do you think is going to happen here if I ask Claude? What do you think is going to happen here if I ask Claude what the current time is? Let's find out here. As you can see here, of course, Claude has no idea because Claude has no ability to reach out and grab that information. So now let's take a look at what happens here when I give Claude the ability to run commands, just like over here at the command line to run the date command. Let's see what happens then when we ask the same question. All right, so to set this up inside of this directory on a Mac, or if you're on Windows here, this is my repository, by the way. I've got both directories listed here. So inside of this directory here, there is a Claude configuration file. These are your Claude desktop app config settings. Inside of here, you can add in a section for MCP servers. So if I copy over a change to this configuration file here, I've got some config samples that I can use. This is the one I'm going to use. I'll show you another one you can use as well here. So I'm using a local checkout of my repo for MCP server commands. Again, you can take a look at the repo for this package here. Here's the example of the config file if you want to use MPX to run this and not need to have it checked out locally. Now, if I go ahead and kill off Claude here, start it back up. Now you'll notice there's a tool available here, the run command tool. And if I ask a question here, what is the current time? Now let's see what happens here. All right, so you can see I'm prompted here to allow it to run a command here. So go ahead and allow for this chat. You can see it's running the date command similar to what I had over at the command line. And there you go. You can see the time is 6.35 p.m. And if I check over here, you can see that's actually the time. So it's 6.36 p.m. Let's try something different here, though. Let's say I'm not certain what my disk usage looks like or maybe my memory usage. So I could ask Claude, do I have enough memory on my machine? Do I need to upgrade basically to a new machine or maybe get some more memory here? So now I'll go ahead and run this and we'll see what it does here. And that's going to fail when it tried to use the free command that failed because this is Mac OS. So it switched over a different command here. So let me show you this here. The first attempt it made here to run a command was to run the free command. That's going to have failed here. If I run that over on the right, you can see that command doesn't exist. And so then it's following that up with, if I come down here, a second attempt here to run VM stat it can now run that. And now you can see it gets results here. Same thing it can see over here. Here's the results it got. And then once it had that, it was able to tell me a little bit about my memory. And so right now it says I have about 11 gigs free of memory. And overall, I'm using about 25 gigs of memory. So it can actually run a command to check my memory usage and then report back information about my memory usage. And so now let's do one more here. Let's ask it. So I'll just ask it, what are some fun commands you could run to show me the value of an MCP server to actually run commands and then discuss the results with me? Let's just see what it does in this case here. All right, so I'm prompted again because this is a new chat, so I'll go ahead and allow again. All right, it's running the uptime command. Now it's running the free command. Of course, that fails, so it's trying a different approach, BM stat. Looks like it grabbed the disk usage here. So it ran four different commands here. All right, so it says my uptime shows about two days of runtime here. I could run the command myself over here to check that. Yeah, you can see I've been up for about two days now. And that was the first command that it ran here. That was the uptime command, and here's the output of that. And then next up here, try to run the free command again. This is a new chat. That's why it doesn't remember that won't work here. Nonetheless, that failed. And so actually, you can see in the output here, the result it gets back is is error and true, which means there's a failure. And it talks about the failure here. And Claude successfully navigated that to know it needed to try again here. So the next thing it did here, of course, was VM stat again. Of course, it got some results back for that. And then last up here, you can see it checked the disk free space. All right, so what else do we have here summarizing this down below? So it's reporting back, I have about 1.8 terabytes of total storage and I'm at 83% usage. Is that close to correct here? Here, let me zoom out a little. Yep, there's 1.8 terabytes. And yeah, on my primary partition, you can see I've got about 300 gigs left, which is 83%. So it navigated all of this output to figure out and tell me that I've got 83% disk usage which is actually pretty valuable. If you think about it, if somebody that doesn't really know how to work with commands to get information about their computer, if they had a question like, should I get more disk space in the next machine that I buy or my phone or whatever it might be, the fact that you could run some commands to figure that out for them and then report back a result to them, that's incredibly valuable. So if you would like to try this out here, and again, be careful what you ask it to run here, you can come out to this repo here on GitHub MCP server commands. 
down below, I've got how you configure this either via the repo if you check it out here or up above if you just want to use the package out on npmjs.com. So you can plug this into your cloud desktop app and I'll have another video coming shortly about how you can use this with Zed as well. There's another feature that I've added for this. So watch out for that. And then let me know in the comments down below, have you tried this out? What do you think about it? Are there any improvements that you would suggest making? Let me know in the comments down below.